Today, I have a little bit of a rant uh, towards FIFA 16 and how shit the game is. Like, even proof that the background of my voice, the, the it's going to be Call of Duty gameplay instead of FIFA. Because, honestly, I can't be bothered with FIFA 16. So, the first thing I... The, the first issue I want to bring up is the coins and points. So, if we go back to, like, FIFA 15... Where you could spend 14 quid and get a million coins and now you have to spend 54 quid for a million coins i mean it's fucking ridiculous the the changes and most people are just buying points instead because it's easier faster and it, it's only a space of like three or four packs in between so it really just doesn't make any sense and everyone is preferring fifa 15 way because i know I, I know fifa are making more money out of it but what's the point when they're already making plenty of money and they'll let the people who buy the game actually enjoy the game because honestly i i didn't open any team of the year packs none of the team of the seasons none of the pinks none of the any of them not even black friday because simply i i don't spend money on games after i've bought them it's just it's pointless if, it, it's pointless if i'm spending well, ninety-five pounds or seventy-five pounds for what ten packs, and most of the time I won't even get anything from it. So it's simply just make like get rid of the price things. Like oh, it's it's ridiculous because I I would really like to pack some stuff, but again I didn't want to pay for it. Like I didn't want to pay seventy-five quid for 10 packs I, it's just nothing like what's the point in making them so expensive it's fucking retarded so moving on to the second one which kind of linked with the coins and points it would be the pack luck the pack luck this year was fucking shit honestly i i, I bet you the people were ksi mini mentor zerka bazinga road to shore every, every single one of them i probably spent each of them over a grand of money and they they what they got like three or four team of the years like it, over a grand on three or four players and it's the pack luck is just so bad it's it's fucking shit i uh, like I, I i don't get why the, like fifa 15 they were generally good you'd get them every like second pack was this you'd be lucky to get one in a 10 100k packs it's honestly just so bad for the game, and I really hope they fix it in FIFA 17. Now moving on to the third um, thing that I think is fucking shit in the game and should be fixed is the retarded players. Now, this could be from, like, you know when the goalkeeper, like, it deflects off a player, and then the goalkeeper still saves it, but then it, back, it goes into another player's foot, and then it ends up just getting fucking tumbled about in the place, and... Like, half the time it ends up being a retarded goal that just dribbles in when your goalkeeper is too stupid to get off the ground. It's just that shit that really annoys you when you're playing the game. It's it's honestly just, as I said, retarded players. They're so bad. And, on, and another one for the passing as well for retarded players. Like, you point it to where you want it, but it points it in, like, a more acute area... So if you're pointing it in like a northwest way, it will go just straight west, and it's it's honestly just shit for the game, and yeah, that I honestly just want them to fix the players in it. And moving on to the fourth thing that I think should be fixed in the game is of course the long shots, like the shit they you can't do long shots in the game. It's it's honestly terrible. Now in FIFA 15, 14, 13, 12, you could shoot from almost a halfway line. And it only being an inch off the floor and going in. Now, I know this is... A, it's over-exaggerating the shots. But in FIFA 16, they dialed that down so much that it, even shots outside of the box, they rather dribble along the ground or they go over the back. It's very hard to get it in the goal. And it's, it's honestly shit because I feel like it, it's just so much more excitement when you can take a shot outside of the box. 
and EA have ruined that for everyone. And it's the same with everything. They've ruined it for the game, ruined it for the people playing the game. And they're honestly just thinking of their own money and keeping money themselves. Which, it shouldn't be that when they're making the game for the people who are buying them. And it's... It's honestly, the it's bad for business them doing that. And now moving on to the fifth reason for the rant. It, it, is, of the la it is the last bit. And it is going to be the overpoweredness of the lower rated. Because I've had players, like, I have at the moment... What, Jamie Vardy up front, and he's, what, I, I think I have a 75 rated card, and it's fucking amazing. And I've got Sturridge, who's an 82, and he plays fucking shit. It's, it's really weird how they have, like, the lower level players better than the top level players. Because Conor Plianka, who's an 84, is better than the 93 Ronaldo. It's... It's just so weird the way that they have the game and I, I think they should fix it because the people who are getting the higher rated players just aren't getting the full experience of having a high rated player like you did in FIFA 15. Like in FIFA 15 you get Ronaldo, you take shots from that halfway. I mean it wasn't hard to do back then but it, it, it just looked amazing. And now that, that it's hard for him to score outside of the box. It's honestly, they've ruined their game so much and it... I really think they should fix it because it's honestly turned to a shit game. No one's playing the game. It's FIFA 16 is dead. It's just so dead. No one wants to play it. FIFA related channels like Morgs have moved on to playing Pokemon. Mini Mentor is so just bored of the game. KSI hasn't made a video in about like six months of FIFA. It's it's just it's they ruined the game. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was just a simple rant towards EA and FIFA 16 and how much of a shit game it is and what they should improve in FIFA 17 because I honestly think that if FIFA 17 ends up being as shit as 16, I, it's a great opening for Pez to get it through. But it, I mean, it's honestly just EA thinking of their own selves. The money that they have they shouldn't be making such a big deal of the points and coin systems the pack luck as well they shouldn't be caring as much of whether you should get how many per points that you have because they have so much money it's ridiculous so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the video i probably said it beforehand but yeah i'll, I'll see you guys in next week's episode so yeah please like subscribe and peace out